Alrighty, hello guys. So I am back again. I uh, love the circuit there. To show you the plasma force field, which I have actually shrunk down quite a bit. That is the emitting surface right there. And I actually want to show you guys it playing music. So let me turn it on really quick and I can give you a side view and everything. So here we go. Power. There it goes. Side view of it. There's the front view of it. It's a very nice little force field. Sticks out a little bit there. You can see it's sticking out above that. Um, so let me turn on the music now. Power. And it'll shut off for a second. It's not too happy when it plays music, but it does play music. So yeah, I'm still working on it, working on making it bigger. Let's see. Turn music off. Ooh. That was a very nice noise. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe, I'm going to keep working on this, so we'll bring you more videos of the Plasma Force Veiled. Uh, circuit here, generate high electricity, high voltage. Here, run off this modified computer power supply. So, I've got that's an actual, it's actually a car spark plug I took out. Because I replaced my spark plugs in my car the other day, so I took it out to use for this. And I'll turn it on for you here really quick, and you can see the arc. Plasma arc is spinning around really, really fast. So, there it goes. Maybe if it'll focus. Yeah, that's my little plasma arc spinner thing. <laughs> that's what I found out it did. So, yeah, this is my most recent experiment I've been working on. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like this kind of stuff, because I'll be posting more up soon, hopefully. So, thanks for watching. Bye. first definition of the Earth is a 98% azimuthal equidistant 1% molar wide 1% homolysand flat plane top surface of an approximate 0.1% minute and minor disk shaped plane elliptical system. A fixed stationary non-moving non-rotating three-dimensional platform with a flat top surface and extremely probable flat bottom surface and round but flat edge surface. On the top surface are two, two polar rings of a concentric inner polar ring surrounding a central north magnetic pole and a outer polar ring surrounding the edge of an approximate disc-shaped platform system with at least two to four small suns and two to four small moons on planar circular paths on top bottom edge and interior hollow middle insides surfaces. This is the second definition. A minute approximate 0.1% plain elliptical 99.9% .9 flawless coin shaped disc platform circular at the edge and congruent at sea level sea level 
having a ceiling made of layers of powerful repulsive fields, electro fields, magnetic fields of several hundred octaves in frequencies, or an electromagnetic field of octave braids and trapped plasma over and containing a platform from which it derives its structure. And here are some snapshots of that footage, uh, enhanced in various ways, just to see if I can bring out the grid lines a little bit better. Um, this one is uh, as I was zooming in on the star, so you can still see the line there. And just to give some technical information, one thing I did differently with this particular shot is I'd um, taken the shutter speed down to about 6 the lowest it could go and uh, just to try and get as much exposure as I could. The focus was at its maximum, I'd set that manually and uh, it was recording at 50 frames per second. Uh, so hopefully this information will help others try to capture this. A sprite event is like a switch that turns on an electric current in the space between the Earth and the ionosphere. In fact, our planet is surrounded by electric current from the surface to the edge of space. Like lightning, sprites help to complete a global circuit. It's kind of confusing to the eye because it doesn't make sense. But yes, water is affected by a magnet. Water will avoid the magnet and pull away from it. And there you have. Can't believe the lighting really shows that. Here is uh, this is basically rot rotating uh, counterclockwise. The other video is uh, clip was showing clockwise rotation. Uh, it's absolutely incredible, and uh, I hopefully uh, hopefully you'll be able to duplicate this. It's basically a very simple electrolyzer. Uh, that can show this effect. Here, and I reverse the polarity of the magnet. I flipped it upside down, and I apply a voltage to it. When I apply a voltage, the helical field is basically spinning clockwise in this area. And um, I have a uh, description of why this uh, this is shown. Uh, it goes back to the 1980s to, an, to a man named Howard Johnson. This is an iron slug here to show to the critics that in fact that uh, the helical fields generated by a magnetic field as opposed to a left and right hand rule of current flow through the wire. Remember, north is never up in the sky, so hold your compass nice and flat. North is never north up in the sky. Is never up in the sky, so hold your compass nice and flat. To the oxygen, electricity is heat, light, and cold. Perhaps since Dr. Franklin and later on Mr. Quetelet conclusively proved the existence of positive electricity within within the atmosphere. Faraday, on the other hand, discovered the magnetic properties of it, as also of one of its component gases, oxygen. And that this gas, when cool, exerts a greater magnetic influence than when it is heated. We can thus reasonably assume that the cold, frozen currents above, in addition to holding positive electricity, exert a powerful magnetic influence on everything they surround. 